you've ever wondered what it means to be German, how about showing your face? The country's interior minister, Thomas de Maizière, has listed ten key ideas he claims will promote integration. The first of these is we don't wear burkas. Adira Tudor reports. Well, a lot was said. Uh, in fact, Germany's interior minister, he claims that defining German culture will help integration. He's quoted as saying, wir sind nicht Burka, which means we are not Burka. Thomas de Maizier, he argues that Islamic veils, which completely covers the face, are contrary to democratic coexistence. He also added, we are an open society, we show our face. Also in his 10-point plan, he included social habits like shaking hands, that express national attitudes, education, sport and the arts, Bach and Goethe, as well as traditions including carnivals and folk festivals. But it is his comments about the burqa that have reignited this topical national debate on identity and, of course, immigration ahead of national elections for, and also following the arrival of more than a million refugees. So the debate is going across other countries now. Um, if we take a look at the brief history of where we're at with the burqa ban across Europe. In 2011, France banned the full face covers. Belgium, Bulgaria, Austria followed the lead shortly afterwards, um, and the ban is still pending in the Netherlands, awaiting Senate approval. It's also a similar story in the UK, where the UKIP um, leader is to campaign to ban burqa and sharia laws. That's Paul Nuttall. Here's what he had to say on the subject. Obviously, we have a heightened security risk at the moment, and uh, for CCTV to be effective, you need to see people's faces. Because whether we like it or not, in this country, uh, there's more CCTV per head than anywhere else on the planet, but the most watched people. And for that to be effective, you need to see people's faces. So, as you can see, this latest move in Germany has uh, brought this controversial debate back into the limelight across Europe and the international community.